What would it be like to travel to over 15 countries by sea with a fleet of 300 humongous ships? Through the eyes of Zhang He, we will see everything from establishing trade with the West to traveling around meeting foreign rulers. Zhang He was born as a Muslim eunuch in the year 1371 in the country of China. When Zhang He was only 11 years old, his family had been captured and taken away as prisoners. In the year 1404, Zhang He began to work for the Emperor of China's fourth son, Zhu Di. In the same year, China's emperor realized how talented and knowledgeable Zhang He was and how he would be a perfect fit to lead voyages by sea. The emperor followed through with this and by the next year, Zhang He was commander-in-chief of the Ming fleet. Zhang He had gigantic vessels designed using creative techniques that made for sturdy, strong ships. Zhang He's fleet consisted of at least 300 of these magnificent vessels as well as roughly 28,000 men for a crew. On the fifth expedition that Zhang He and his crew made, the Chinese brought back home and offered gifts to 19 ambassadors from 19 different countries. On the last voyage that Zhang He and his crew made, the Chinese discovered the length of the route from Nanjing, which is off China, to Hermuz, which is off the Persian Gulf, as well as how long the route took to travel. All of the voyages that Zhang He journeyed on helped China's system of tributes, as well as the aiding and establishing trade with the West. Also, this great Chinese commander and his crew brought animals back from various countries to China to be appraised by the Chinese court. Although China had many great sea voyages under the commander Zhang He, this wonderful voyager experienced a major turning point of his life in the year 1433. We will now head to Chuck for the details. Ah, uh, yes, this was a very big turning point for the Chinese Commander-in-Chief, Zhang He. For this was the year that Zhang He's voyages went on no more, partly due to being too weak. Zhang He went on seven voyages between the years 1405 and 1433. His first voyage was to India, and during this voyage, Zhang He and his crew defeated Chen Sui. Zhang He's second and third voyages were to India as well, and on the third voyage, the Chinese brought down the forces of Sinhalese, which were off the coast of Sri Lanka. The fourth voyage was to Aden in Hormuz, which is located on the Persian Gulf. And during the fourth voyage, Zhang He's men terminated the power of people who rebelled against the king of northern Sumatra. The fifth voyage of Zhang He went to Aden as well, and his seventh voyage went to Hormuz.